Hey Capricorn besties and welcome to my channel, Blushing the 69 Tarot. If you're new to my channel, Capricorn, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. Don't leave my channel without subscribing. Make sure to like this video, Capricorn, if it does resonate with you in any type of way and or comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. Take the reading, Capricorn, as it resonates with you. It will resonate differently for everyone. And Capricorn, if you don't like my shit, get out my shit, okay? Any other information that I do not state as of now will be down below in the description box. Capricorn, uh, November's re uh, rituals are all posted on my website. Um, they are discounted this week only. So if you have not signed up for it, go sign up, blogshina69.com. Also, I will not be posting readings on Sunday, so don't look for me. Okay, not on this channel at least. Um, let's move on to your reading. So this is how your love interest feels about you. Take out motherfucking resonate and flip flop your own ass because I'm fucking no. Okay, but either way it goes, um, what's on your love interest mind, Capricorn spirit? What's on their love interest mind when it comes to Capricorn? You have the dolphins. They nosy. <laughs> they nosy, Capricorn. They nosy. Somebody all up in your business. Okay, you better be mindful of who lurking, who watching. You got the eagle. Mm-hmm, the eagle's eye. They know that they're all up in your business. You got the high priestess here once again. they all up in your motherfucking business, okay? Now, I feel like Capricorn, some of them saw something. I don't know what they saw, though. Uh, not just yet, but you better not be out there doing the dirt. Because she knows. She knows. She knows, okay? Just saying. Intuition telling you that they know, they know. Don't be out there doing dirty. Either way, what's on um, Capricorn person's mind, spirit? The Knight of Cups. Your birthday season coming up. Oh, wait, after Sagittarius. Never mind. It is coming up now. You got the Eight of Wands here. So, yeah, your person wants to talk about something, but I feel like there's a trip that they're trying to go on. There's a trip that they're trying to plan, a trip they're trying to go on. There's some type of communication, but I'm not getting what the communication is, but I know they want to talk about something. I do feel like it's something that they've seen, so they may talk about they want to travel to this place because, hey, I just noticed this place, and I want to travel here. Um, I want to go here to this destination with you. Give me a second. I'm not getting it. There's an offer here Capricorn there's an offer here just not sure what the offer is what's on their mind spirit the queen of swords oh why are they keeping this a secret uh -uh -uh. I don't like that <laughs> I'm gonna get it They're coming with an offer, a serious offer. Five of Swords. Some, somebody might be calling it quits. I'm just saying. If there was a third party involved, Capricorn, they're moving on from this third party. Okay, they're moving on from this third party, calling it quits to this third party, whatever this is. They could be quitting their job, quitting dealing with someone else. Um, I feel like there's a third party here that they're quitting. Something that they're quitting. Maybe you're the nosy one. Flip flop your own ass and take how motherfucker resonate because I'm fucking out, okay? You got the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yes, Capricorn. I feel like what's on their mind is calling it quits from whatever this third party is. Whether this third party is a person, place, or thing. Could be work-related. Um, they're quitting something, Capricorn, and making changes in their lives. Wanting to be a little bit more serious with you. Now, you could have previously had this conversation It went in one ear out the other. It depends on how long ago you had this. It doesn't matter how long ago you had this. It went in one ear out the other. And life, the universe, show them otherwise. And you know y'all motherfuckers are ruled by Saturn. Mm -hmm. The daddy of karma. The daddy of lessons. So, fuck with the Capricorn and you're going to get these motherfucking lessons. Yes, indeed you are. So, life, the universe has taught them these motherfucking lessons not to fuck with you, not to play with you. So I feel like they're starting to see it. They're starting to see it now. I feel like that may be that nosiness right there. They're starting to see what happens when they fuck around because they're definitely going to find out and they've been finding out. Okay, let's, let's move the fuck on. So what would they like to make of this connection, Capricorn? Spirit, what would Capricorns, our love interest, like to make of this connection? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
leave me. I need you. I'm not alone. I don't know lyrics. I don't know song. Put down in the comments, okay? Um, you got finances and careers. So Capricorn, you could have <laughs> karmically fucked up their finances. Uh, the nine of wands, as I said, life has not been so kind to them. Justice. They want to make things right, Capricorn. What do they want to make of this connection? I don't know what the fuck they did, what they said. I don't know. But um, they want to make things right because life has not been so kind to them. When I tell you the universe has been on the ass, you have the higher front here. Hold on. The universe has been on the ass. Literally, the universe has been whooping the ass. Lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson. Only for them to come back to, oh, it's probably because I did X, Y, Z to Capricorn. It's probably because I didn't keep my promise. I didn't keep my word. Or I am over here cheating on the side of something. Or I'm doing too much. Right? I'm hurting the one person that Saturn does not fuck around and play with. Okay? Um, take that how my fuck resonate. Let's move on. So what are their feelings when it comes to you, Capricorn? Spirit, Spirit said you can get, they could get this blessing or they gonna get this motherfucking lesson and know they want the blessing now, okay? I feel like they want to make things right. You got the moon. They want to make things right, Capricorn. Ace of Cups again. They want to make things right. It's like they can't stop thinking about you, can't stop dreaming about you. Capricorn, and now this doesn't have to be taken as a negative in a negative sense, okay? Because it may not be cheating involved or whatnot, but they have learned enough lessons to know I'm not going to play around this time. So this could be a whole new connection where they're like, I learned enough lessons in the past, I'm not going to play around with you this time, right? Some of y'all could be somebody that you're already talking to, committed to, okay? I learned enough lessons, I'm not going to play around this time. That's what I keep getting. And the will of fortune, right? I feel like the universe is giving them a second chance and they feel it. They feel it in their spirit. You got judgment at the bottom of the deck. The universe is giving them a second chance at love. They are either going to do right or they're going to learn some more lessons. I feel like they're tired of going through the same thing. I feel like when it comes to Capricorn, they feel like they found a good one, the right one, where if I keep doing wrong, I'm going to keep receiving this bullshit and I don't want this bullshit anymore. Let's go ahead and see why though overwhelmed okay overwhelmed you are getting in my nerves seven of cups and the four of wands what if they don't want that what if feeling what if i could have the perfect relationship what if you are the one i'm playing around i'm about to miss out on you i don't want to miss out the universe brought you to me for a reason capricorn Five of Swords. And the Five of Wands. Yeah, there's too much competition out here. So I feel like they've seen how you operate, Capricorn. They've seen how serious you can be. They've seen how quick you could walk away from the commitment or walk away from them or walk away in some capacity that will hurt them in the end. They do not want that Capricorn, okay? You're going to scorn them if you haven't already. They see it. So the universe don't got to teach them because the universe going to speak through you. Okay, you're going to be their biggest lesson. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's move on to Spirit's uh, message for you, Capricorn. Spirit, what's your message for Capricorn? Recognition. Remember who you are, Capricorn. Remember who you are. Remember your rule and plan it, damn it. Mm -mm. So I don't play around or play with y'all, play about y'all. You got the star. Lay it all on the table, Capricorn. I don't know what that means for you, but lay it all on the table. Ten of Swords, lay it all on the table. All in or all out. No in between. Ten of Pentacles, all in, all out. No in between. Either you're going to get this motherfucking lesson or you're going to get this blessing. Which one is it going to be? They better pick and choose. And the Spirit is saying to you, fuck what, they pick, fuck what they pick and choose. You better pick one of these because the universe is blessing you either way it goes with one of these. You're getting a wish granted, so... Are we letting this person go? Are we letting this relationship go and accepting a new blessing? Because Saturn's about to spin the block on y'all, okay? Or you're going to keep them as a blessing and get this lesson. 
whichever way it has to go for you or how it has to go for you because they may be the blessing. Who the fuck knows? Are you willing to try again or commit for the first time or not? That's really up to you, Capricorn. Anyway, y'all, that's pretty much our reading. Bye, y'all.